Hello, my name is Amanda. We're here at Melbourne City Baths with Andrew Danesbergs, who's going to show us some exercises on how to get that pre-baby body shape back. So thank you, Andrew, for being here. What are some of the steps we can do to help us get our figure back in shape? Yeah, there's plenty of things you can do. I suppose what we're looking at uh, today will take you through you know, a couple of different things, you know, in terms of cardiovascular work and uh, maybe a little bit of weight training as well, and maybe some floor work uh, that you can do either at the gym or at home. So we'll have a bit of a gym focus and maybe a home focus as well. But I suppose just really to start off with, just for you know uh, everyone out there, it's really important that you know in terms of sort of postnatal work uh, and postnatal exercise, really important that you know if you've done some exercise during your pregnancy or even before you get pregnant, it really helps in terms of your recovery. Uh, so it will definitely speed up the time uh, in terms of your recovery after you give birth. So I suppose really keep in mind you know just doing that stuff. Uh, but as a general rule, allow yourself about six weeks before you get back in the gym. You know, it may differ you know, for each person, but if you're not sure, just uh, have a chat to your GP and they'll give you a bit of a, a guide of you know, when you should be getting back into the gym as well. So um, when we're looking at exercise, really just keep it nice and general to start with. Uh, don't be too specific. You're just looking at general health uh, and well-being to start off with. You can sort of work back into maybe your, your post-pregnancy body just a little bit later on, but you've really got to get yourself set early. So think about quality of work rather than quantity of work. Uh, but really just, you know, take it easy, uh, listen to your body and just ease your way back into it again. So what we've got you sort of going here, what we'll start with today is uh, doing some cardiovascular work. So uh, we've got you set up on the bike here. So pedaling away nice, nice and easy at the moment. Um, Everyone's going to be different, you know, you'll go to your gym, you know, they'll have different bikes, different setups, but really just as a general, get yourself comfortable on the bike again, get yourself pedaling away. Um, just think about what you're doing probably before you gave birth as well, so not too, you know, much high impact work, so really low impact stuff. Just look at your heart rate, trying to keep it under, you know, those you know, sort of maximum values. So you, you should know about the 140 beats per minute, so sort of use that as a bit of a guide as well. So, you know, just pedaling through, if you don't like the bike, don't do it. It doesn't really matter. We're trying to find some exercise for you to do. So nine times out of 10 people won't have a bike at home. So this is something that you can really get into you know, when you get back to the gym just to start with. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we're at the cross trainers at the moment. It's probably our most popular piece of equipment here just purely for the fact that you know it's uh, another low impact exercise. Uh, so what we are talking about before, not having too much impact. So. If you can't run, which we sort of don't recommend you get running uh, straight away after you, you give birth, it's a really good exercise uh, or good machine to use uh, to get the heart rate up a little bit more. The good thing about it, as I said before, it doesn't have the impact, so you see your feet staying on, on the pedals the whole way through, um, and you also use your upper body as well. So you'll find that it'll probably just get your heart rate up just that little bit higher than the bike, uh, but you know, it's a great, a great uh, machine to use for cardiovascular work. So again, Look at your heart rate, you've got the sensors there. Again, just start off on an easy program, even just a quick start program to get yourself going. Start on the basic level and just work your way up from there. Okay, so we're on the treadmill. What's the benefits of this? Oh, the benefits of this one is it really just gets you moving. It's the easiest thing to do. Uh, the great thing about it is you can do it in the gym here, of course, you can do it at home as well. So, you know, even if you have a bit of time at home, you can get out and go for a walk. I suppose the benefit of doing here in the gym, you can play around with it a little bit. You can, you know, use some inclines and different things like that. But really, just get you going to start with, get you moving. Um, you know, you can feel really relaxed in here. Most people, after they give birth, you know, it's probably one of the first things they can get back doing again is walking again. So, just with all the other exercises we've done, you know, today we can just sort of, you know, a few different things, mix it up a little bit, but. You know, just when you're on the treadmill here, you know, use some of the programs again. So play around with the incline. You know, you don't have to get into a run, so it can just be a brisk walk to start with. Now, if you haven't used them before, they do feel a bit strange. So you'll find that most people will tend to hang on a little bit. But try and walk like you would if you're out on the street. So try not to walk, you know, with any support or anything like that. But, you know, just watch your balance. If you get into trouble, hit the stop button straight away, it'll come to a stop. But, you know, really good way just to get yourself going, you know, really easy. Okay, so we've done some cardio, yep. we've moved into the weights room, now what are we doing here? We're going to take you through some weights uh, right now, so a couple of exercises. We're starting off on the machines uh, just to start with. Really important that you just sort of 
think about your form and control just you know as you get going. The key to weight training though is about you know control. Okay, we're not trying to lift too heavy. We're just sort of getting you moving back into strength work again. So building up nice and slow. So we've got you started on the chest press here uh, as your first exercise. So we're going to work major muscle groups. So you know things like chest, back, legs, and so on. So we'll go through some of that stuff now. Uh, so your chest press is the first one here. So some really basic things just to be aware of. Just make sure the seat height's okay. You know you're comfortable. What we're looking at here is pretty much having the handles at about chest height. Okay, so set your weight, something light that you can probably do about 10 to 15 reps with. So we'll go out for 10 reps today. So all you're going to do is just push out. Now as you push out, you take a deep breath out. Okay, so come back, deep breath in, and breathe out as you push. So basically you're trying to keep your tummy nice and tight. Just nice and controlled, keep it smooth. I'm not trying to rush it. How does that feel? Feels okay? Yeah. You've got a few more reps to go still. <laughs> yeah, you can do the 10. All right, Amanda, we're over here at the lap pull down. Uh, so we're working into your back here. So we're going to do two back exercises today. So this is the first one we're going to go through. Really important to work uh, through your back. It really helps in terms of maintaining your posture. So a lot of mums tend to get quite you know, sore through uh, their back and through their shoulder blades. So what we're really trying to aim to do here is really help strengthen you up through the back so we can bring your shoulder blades back a little bit. So you can sort of stand up a little bit taller. It really helps for holding onto the baby as well because you're holding you know, different angles and different positions. So a strong back is really important. So a couple of things here, there's plenty of lap pull downs you'll find in gyms. So this is one we've got set up, uh, got you set up on today. So a little bit different, it's using the cables here. So you'll see just above here, you've got the two handles. So if you have a stronger side of the body, the weaker side still has to work equally as hard because the, basically the, the weight stacks are kept separate. So just a couple of points just for your setup. Just make sure that you're comfortable. So sitting forward, you should have these pads down on your thighs there. Now the key is you've got to keep your back straight. So what we're going to get you to do when you do this movement is just look up and forward slightly. So wherever you're looking, uh, the rest of the body will tend to follow. So if you're looking down, you'll find that your shoulders will start to roll down as well. So same thing again as with the chest press before, you want nice smooth movement, so keep it nice and controlled. Again, pick a weight that you can at least do 10 repetitions on, uh, and again, focus on that breathing as well. So we're breathing out as we're gonna pull down this time. Okay, ready yep. to go. So we'll bring the handles down for you. So just keep a nice soft grip, so hammer grip. So just pulling down to the upper chest, you'll find that your elbows will come down next to your body. You should just feel, so just go back up again, all the way to the top, don't overstretch, and then just come back down again. You should feel that you're starting to get a little bit of work through the upper back. Now, anything that we do on the upper body does involve the arms as well. So this is also a bit of a bicep exercise, so it will help shape up the arms a little bit as well. But really, the main aim of this one is to work through the back. Keep it nice and strong, and really sort of helping with your posture. Alright Amanda, our second back exercise, so the seated row, so again working into the upper back, a little bit more work through the traps this time, so really good to help keep those shoulder blades back. Uh, got a little bit of a different setup here, there's nothing to really adjust, but what you have to be uh, cautious of is that these cables will want to pull you forward a little bit, so it's good because we're actually going to get you to engage your abs this time a little bit, just to hold you in place. So, a couple of things just to think about, just get your feet set up there, just slide back so you've got enough room. It doesn't matter if your legs are bent uh, or straight, just whatever's comfortable for you. We'll get you to grab hold of the handles here. So again, we've got the two handles, so the double cable system, so same thing again, the weak arm has to work equally as hard as the strong. So sit up nice and tall, so keep your back straight, chest out, just look forward. Now we're going to pull back under your chest into your ribs and we're looking at squeezing your shoulder blades back together again. So these cables want to pull you forward, so just keep your tummy tight and just hold your body position. So again, working on that breathing, so breathing with each repetition, we're breathing out as we're pulling into our body this time. All right, so just keeping it nice and controlled. How's that weight feel? Yeah, good. Feels good. Yeah. So you should be, again, feeling it through your biceps a little bit. Don't be surprised if you tend to fatigue a little bit quicker through the biceps. There are smaller muscle groups, so they will fatigue a little bit quicker. But our aim is really to work back through your upper back here. If you can't get your shoulder blades together, again, the weight's probably a little bit heavy, uh, so you just need to drop it back a little bit. So you should be looking at just squeezing my fingers with your shoulder blades, and keeping it nice and smooth. All right, 
and just to finish, we'll get you to recover here. Just be careful, uh, just sort of slide forward a little bit just to put the, the weights back again so it doesn't pull you back out of position.